What's up guys? My name is Kira. I'm a volleyball player. I play professionally in Europe. I've done it for the last 10 years and I'm making these videos for anyone who might be interested in what that life looks like. I feel as though that's my intro now because I've said it almost every single time. I'm sure I can come up with something more creative. Maybe you guys can come up with something more creative. Give me a, type me something in the comments and let me know how I can start these videos more enticingly and making people really want to watch them. Like, hook them. Thanks. So in today's video, I am discussing the topic of do drum roll, please. You already know what it is because you probably saw the title and now I'm just being redundant. Today we're diving into what volleyball players get up to when they're not volleyballing. Surely that I can think of a more concise title by the time I upload this, but that's the that's the general gist. I think it's so important to have hobbies. Volleyball is our job. We do it many, many hours of the day, of the week, but it's really important to have things outside of your job that make you happy, that you enjoy. For me, those things are photography and more recently, videography, because you're watching it. This, um, this is what I do now. I make videos and I put them on the internet and I hope that people watch them. I think I'm a YouTuber now. I also love animals. I have kind of adopted a couple of cats. I think they were strays, but they sort of come around my balcony and I started giving them food and now they just hang out like they own the place. I give them names. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've said it now, so you gotta own it, right? If you're weird, you just gotta own it. I call them Potato Jet and Dusty Porter because those are two of my favorite YouTubers slash podcasters. If you don't know who they are, maybe I'll link them down below because that's a thing that people do in videos, right? They link stuff so you can just get lost in the black hole that is YouTube. Back to reality. This video, I am highlighting one of my teammates. She invited me over to take photos of some food because she's a bit of a chef and she has a food blog. And I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of cool to just take some video too and make a video out of it. And so that's what we did the other day. She made me some delicious zucchini parmesan fritters. I'm gonna have to link her blog and the recipe because I am not a cook, I'm not a chef myself. I barely get away without overcooking pasta. So needless to say, they were delicious, but if you need to know how to do them, I definitely will send you over to her stuff. So yeah, here it is, here's that, enjoy. So I'm Monica for everyone. I play volleyball for 15 years now, but professionally I could say if you don't count college, four years. And that's where it all started after all college. The real life hits me. <laughs> you have to be on your own and you have to start cooking. And I found this passion about cooking when I started playing in Switzerland because the country is very expensive. You can just dine out every time you want. So me and my setter, we started this Sunday thing, cooking stuff, because we would have day off and we would cook a lot. We'd come up with the recipes or like we would watch somewhere and we would do a huge cook-off and do much more. So I think that's where it started. And then over the years, it's kind of evolved because I got more interested. Like I like more experimenting with stuff. Now I know certain stuff that, I don't know, for example, salmon fish with mango but salmon doesn't always taste good with cucumber so sometimes I make it and I'm like oh okay well that was a bad combination <laughs> of ingredients but I like uh, cooking to people and now when I play abroad I have all the teammates yeah you always have people to come and yes. eat food with you yes. you can ask me anytime oh, okay. I'm that's always great for because you. my favorite my favorite audience which is my boyfriend is not here and he always likes oh so good so good it's everything so good over years I I kept my recipes in a small book and then I decided why not to share with people. I started working on a website. It's quite simple, it's just saying like directions and ingredients and what kind of food and I also included what kind of nutritional facts it consists. So for example, if you lack of vitamin A or you need more fiber, some different recipes has different information like this. Voila, I'm gonna share it with some people. So now we eat. <laughs> mm. So good. So delicious. Mm. Good. And really easy. Mm -hmm. And healthy, healthy, maybe? Sure. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little look into the life of a volleyball player outside of playing volleyball. <laughs> 
I'm gonna put the links to her food blog down below and I hope you guys go check it out. Show her some love, tell her I sent you. I think I'm gonna make this into some kind of little series because I wanted to keep this video a bit shorter than the ones before. So I've only focused on one player, but I already know in my head a handful of other players that I wanna dive into their personal lives and see what they do outside of volleyball. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this little sneak peek into Moni's passion and I hope you keep following along because there's gonna be more. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Okay, bye! My neighbor just walked by as I was saying that. I think he saw me and heard me. No, I'm really embarrassed! Oh, bye. Good? Oh, it's so good. So a little good. Yes, it's morning. It's cheesy. It's soft. It's zucchini ish. <laughs> That's me cooking. Yeah, girl, She's yeah! different music. I'm all blurry, I'm focused. Ooh. Ooh.